So in this video, I want to show you the difference between the line command and the polyline. I'm using AutoCAD for Mac for this video. Uh, I have an empty drawing. Uh, I haven't changed any of the settings here, so we're just using it as it is. Um, so you probably know the line command. You can see it from the left side where it says draw. We have the line command here and the polyline. I'm going to draw a simple line by typing the shortcut, the letter L. Then I'm going to start anywhere. There's a first point. I'm going to give direction, and then I'm just going to give the value of 10. Okay, and then I'm going to hit return to finish the command. So this is a line. Now let's say we draw a polyline. The shortcut for it is PL. So I'm also going to draw it uh, somewhere. Uh, let's say we draw it right above it. So we're going to do here. So here is 10 as well. And you can see the command also continues just like line, so we can draw uh, additional segments. And I'm going to hit return to finish it. Right Now, um, I'm going to select the line, which is this bottom object, and then I'm going to highlight that on the right side, on properties, uh, a line will actually be called a line object by AutoCAD. Um, and then I'm going to click Escape to deselect. And the polyline is also going to be highlighted in AutoCAD as polyline. So both of them look kind of the same. Uh, I'm selecting them by clicking and then dragging to draw one, a window selection. Uh, and you can see they almost kind of look the same. Uh, we do have like the only visual difference you see it is when we select it. Um, if you see here, we have these control points. They are in blue. Um, so the line, the one on the bottom, has a square here, and here we see like a rectangle. Now if you click here and move this, it will actually move the line. It will drag it, and then this one will also move the polyline. Okay, so this is like one difference. It's just the geometry uh, or the vertex or control points that we're seeing, they look different. All right, now I'm going to click Escape to deselect both of them. All right. I'm going to start the line command again, and this time I'm just going to draw a square. I'm going to work anywhere, somewhere empty. I'm going to do 6, and then I'm going to go up 6, and then another 6, and then I'm going to go back to the first point, I'll click on it, and I'm going to hit return to finish the command. Okay? If you look at the lines that we created, if we select them, you will see that this edge is actually an individual element, uh, and then this one is an individual element, and you will see on the right side on the properties, which is right here on the bottom, you will see that it says that we have a line object selected, and then it's showing the number two, meaning we have a total of two line objects selected. If I select one more, you will see it will add it, and now we have uh, line three basically, and of course we have four lines selected. I'm going to click Escape to deselect. And this time, I'm going to draw the same geometry by using a polyline. So I'm going to reference this point. I'm going to do the same values. So 6, 6 by 6 essentially. Then I'm going to click back to the first point, And I'm going to hit return to finish the command. When I select this, I'm going to do a selection window. Click here and here. You will see that all the segments get selected or all the edges get selected. And on the right side where it says properties right here, you will see that it's saying polyline. So it's showing this as a single object. This is one of the most like important differences between a, li a line object and a polyline. Okay. Now you do have the option to turn polylines into individual lines and also the opposite if we want to turn lines, individual lines, into a polyline. I'm going to start with the first one. Uh, I'm going to start with, how, with showing you how to turn lines into a polyline. So the process to do that is by using a modifying command, which is called join. You can access the join command by typing the letter J, okay, and you will see it. That's the shortcut for it. And you will find it here on the left under the modify section or the modify commands. But anyway, the, the first thing I'm going to do, or the first step, is I'm going to select the lines. I'm going to do a selection window. Okay, and now they are highlighted. And then I'm going to type J, then hit return. Then I'm going to 
click on top of this and you will see that these lines got turned into a single polyline object. Okay, so that was the process to turn lines into a polyline. I'm going to click Escape to deselect. Now I'm going to show you the opposite, which is turning a polyline into individual lines. There's a command for that. It's also a modifying command, and this one is called the explode command. You can access the explode command by typing the letter X on the keyboard, and then we're going to hit return. And now these, the polyline is turned into individual objects, and we can verify by doing a selection window. And then you will see here on the right side that it says now line four, and each of these is turned into an individual object, and we have a total of four.